Hey everybody, thanks again for joining us here at T-Roy Cooks. We really appreciate it. We're gonna cook some gumbo for you today. It's gonna be a chicken and sausage gumbo and we're gonna throw some shrimp in there just because that's our personal preference. You know, you can, different people make gumbos different ways. Just do it the way you wanna do it. But the key ingredient for a great, fabulous Cajun gumbo is your roux. You've gotta have a homemade roux. All right, now, if you don't live in Cajun land down in the south, and you can't get your hands on some of this jarred roux, which is homemade, it's mass marketed, but it's homemade, tastes like the real thing from, from your kitchen. If you can't get a hold of that, and if you don't feel like slaving over your stove for 30 to 45 minutes to do a homemade roux, the next option would be either to microwave the roux, which I can show you all in a different video if you want, or we can do it like I'm doing it today. I'm gonna show you how to put your flour in the oven 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit, it's gonna brown that flour real good, and that's what we're gonna to use to make our roux. Let's show you. All right, gang. Now, when you're doing roux, again, it's equal parts, equal parts flour and oil, and I've got one cup measured out right here, all-purpose flour. Get you a baking sheet, line it with some foil, and spread your flour out on there. And what you wanna do is just make a really thin layer Move it around, flatten it out. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but that's what we got. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven. And again, 350 Fahrenheit. For 20 minutes. We'll see you in 20. All right, folks, it's been 20 minutes and we'll check out what you'll see. Okay, see all that smoke? That's fine. Again, don't worry. This flour is fine. Shut your oven off, take the flour out, and let it cool off before you can use it. All right, folks, I got three chicken breasts. They are chopped up. I'm gonna throw these in. Uh, I've got about a tablespoon of oil, just regular uh, canola oil heated up. do get you some Cajun seasoning or just salt and pepper if you want. Season up your chicken. This is the same pot we're going to do the gumbo in. So we just want to basically cook this chicken. You don't have to cook it all the way through but give it a nice brown coat on all sides. Kind of partially cook it. So we'll do that and we'll be right back. All right and after a few minutes, probably about four minutes, chicken is uh, just about cooked through. We'll take it out. I've got a link of uh, just regular sausage and I quartered it and then sliced it. So you get these little chunks, you get a little chunk in every bite. We're gonna brown this up real quick. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna get this, make this uh, sausage release some of its grease. That way your gumbo is not super greasy. So give this a few minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so now our sausage is ready. We'll take this out and reserve it. All right, so got a little bit of that sausage oil in there, not a whole lot, maybe a couple teaspoons or so. And I used one cup of flour. So I'm gonna put a little bit less than a cup. And a little more. A little less than a cup of, what am I using here? Canola oil. My flour is cooled off here. I'm just gonna try to get it down in here as best I can. I'm gonna stir this up. It's gonna be some fine roux. It's a good old mix here. Oh, yeah, and you got those chicken and sausage bits on the bottom. That's going to be fine. So you see that color? It will get darker if you cook it a little bit longer like this on the stove top. Or you could just add a little bit of a, I don't know, kitchen bouquet or some other browning sauce. Got my roux heated up. Got some uh, Trinity, Cajun Trinity. This is uh, bell pepper, celery, and onion. And uh, I don't know, this is probably a couple of cups. I'm going to use about half of it. Here we go. 
cook these veggies for just a minute, or a couple of minutes actually. Oh, I wish I could smell this. My goodness. Alright, just keep stirring this and we'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. I've got uh, eight cups of water. I'm um, going to start off putting a little bit in there. Let's see what that looks like. I should tighten this up pretty good. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Okay. Once it starts tightening up, put you some more in there. And we're just going to keep adding slowly, you know, a couple of cups at a time until we get uh, enough water in there to make this a nice consistency. All right, there you go. A little kitchen bouquet for you. That'll darken it up a good bit. Let's see what that looks like. I need some more water in here. Yeah, that's looking much better. Sausage going back in. chicken and the juice going in this is gonna be fine eating right here oh man seriously if y'all can smell this here get your whiff y'all smell that that's good stuff man that's really good all right when this comes up to a boil we're gonna cover it sit on this back burner and just let it uh slowly simmer just a low rolling boil for about 45 minutes maybe an hour we'll check on it then all right gang we are about ready to give us another taste test here the uh, the rice is done i pulled that off that chicken is just about falling apart here just again coming apart here really easy to pull apart give it a quick taste a lot hot. All right. I'm fixing to add the shrimp, but let's give this a little quick taste. Let's see what this tastes like. Ready? I'm not, because this is hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. That flavor is excellent. Um, takes that little bit of time in there. Um, the, the, the homemade roux, you've got to go with a homemade roux. That's the only way to do it. But it could use a little bit more salt and pepper. So I am going to throw a little bit of that in there. Let's see if I can get... All right, a little bit of cracked black pepper. And a little bit of salt. And again, like I said just a second ago, it is time to add my shrimp. So let me go pull the shrimp out of the freezer. All right, this is what I got. Uh, peeled shrimp. They're uh, they're not cooked. Ready to uh, ready to cook. There you go. Ready to cook. Keep frozen. Do not refreeze. Look back here in the back. Product of USA. Wild caught. And it's from here in Texas. Should be pretty good. Nice. Now what you want to do, these open right here, put these in, and the gumbo is still on, so what I'm going to do, this is, uh, these shrimp are frozen like I said, so they're going to cool this gumbo off, but uh, what you want to do is kind of bring this back up to where it's just a really low boil again, and then I'm going to put the lid on it, and turn it off and the residual heat will finish cooking that shrimp and that way they'll get overcooked. That's what we're gonna do and uh, we'll have it plated up here in a little bit. All right, folks, it's time to check this gumbo out here. That's what we got right there, see? Now, what you wanna do, get you some uh, Texas peat or some other hot sauce. Put that on there. And uh, when you put your rice in your bowl, Throw some of this uh, gumbo filet as sassafras leaf. 
throw some of that on your on your rice and then put the gumbo on top that'll help thicken this up and it'll add a little bit of additional flavor let's check this out see what this tastes like it's gonna be good y'all a little bit of sausage a little shrimp come on there you go cheers to you Oh yeah, that's good stuff, man. So, as you can see, it's really easy to make that roux. Your gumbo turned out turn terrific. Hope y'all try it. And uh, man, if y'all like this, give me a thumbs up. Y'all sub if you're not a sub already. Share the video, tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. We'll see y'all next time.